So I'm Stephanie Hirsch. I'm so happy to be here for the first, maybe annual, Board of Aldermen trivia question, challenging Somerville and one another to um, interesting questions about Somerville's past, present, and future. Um, and I'm going to introduce the people here with me, and they're going to talk a little bit more soon. This is um, Ward 4 Alderman Jesse Klingen. Hello, everybody. Our very own neighborhood, Ward 2 Alderman J.T. Scott. Howdy. And Ward 3, also in this neighborhood, Ben Ewan Campen. <laughs> ah. <He's voiceless>. <laughs> <laughs> so before we get, uh, ask them, have them comment on why they like, why they think that um, community media matters so much, I want everybody to get ready with their phone. And is the phone number up there? Okay, the phone number is 617-628-9876. We want you to call in and answer these trivia questions. And I'm going to give you one or two trivia questions to think about, and then we're going to talk about why community media, media matters to us. So the first question is, there are 22 properties on the Monopoly Board, in the traditional U.S. Monopoly Board. How many streets also exist in Somerville that are on the Monopoly Board? And can you name any? That's the first question. And the next question is, came from Alderman Scott, who is Davis Square named after? So everybody on this panel can think about it, and all of you at home can Lance think about Davis. it. Lance Davis. <laughs> <laughs> definitely got Lance Davis here. So do you want to share why you think community media is important? And if you want to take a crap stack, stab at either of these questions, go for it. <laughs> or crab. Well, thank you, Stephanie. Don't take a crap on me. I think we all know why community news is so important, and that's because there is so much going on on the board of aldermen, the center of life in Somerville, that you need the straight news coming beamed in directly every day, and there's only one place to get it. Oh, we have a call. Is somebody calling? All right. Let's see who's on the phone here. Oh. It was a prank. <laughs> Cold feet. I used to do that in school, too. <laughs> you used to uh, use a prank on the local oh. access? All right. Hello, caller. Uh, hello. Uh, I'm calling in. I'm calling in to be live on the show. Wonderful. Welcome. Oh, you can hear me. Okay, so uh, it's Heather calling in from Aeronaut. Nice. We have the SFC crew here. We're going to try to guess about the... Uh, that's Aaron. The, the Monopoly property? Good. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. All right. So, Broadway, I mean, no, Broadway is in the Monopoly. I'm sorry. Do we have Atlantic? Is there an Atlantic? No. 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 All right. There's not an Atlantic. No. Then you have to guess it. So far, you're zero. No, no Broadway. Broadway. There's no Broadway on Monopoly. What? Boardwalk. There <laughs> Zero <laughs> for two. Is what? Good job, guys. Go, no, guys. No. Yes! Yes, Illinois. What's your other one? Okay, so uh, do we get any of those right? Illinois. What, what was the other one? Uh, well, we said Indiana. Yes! Illinois. Yes. Illinois, yes! Illinois, yes! Yes! <laughs> yes. And Three more. Uh, can, no. No more we got to go to Kentucky. Mark. No, North Carolina. Yes, <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> you totally win. <laughs> you have an opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Having a good time. <laughs> okay. Have a great show. Thanks. Thanks for calling in. Bye. Yeah. Oh. Bye. Okay. <laughs> uh, so for those of you who are very confused by that phone call, bye. Uh, that's we're actually uh, aside from being live on TV right now. There's a big viewing party happening there on Aeronaut Brewery right now. Uh, so if you want to be a part of this in a larger sense and hang around with some of your neighbors, head on down to Aeronaut Brewery, have a beer, uh, and enjoy Somerville Media Center, make a contribution. Uh, this is really all about uh, supporting uh, local access television, yeah. which is a, I mean, it's a hugely important resource, I, I think, here in Somerville. Yeah. Um, do you want to fire off another question before Jesse uh, and I talk a lot about local access television? Uh, Okay, yes. So this one came from our alderman, or the president of the Board of Aldermen, who is Katiana Ballantyne. She's the Ward 7 Alderman. And first, she just wanted to give out a shout out to um, some Real Media Center, formerly SCAT TV. She says, Erica Jones is the best because she reminds us of the joy 
energy and compassion in our community through our leadership. And I agree 100%. And the question is, and I think, I hope maybe Jesse can answer this. And I just want to point out that if you look at Jesse's face, I don't know if you can see there, but she's, he's really kind of red in the face. And that's because I believe he spent the morning at the Somerville um, Firefighter Memorial and then yeah. walked the, um, the, the, uh, the walk for, for housing. Oh, yeah, I just came from the uh, 100 Homes, uh, Save Our Homes walk. Yeah, so that's, he might have gotten a little bit of sun. But so the question is, does Somerville allow, legally, by ordinance, kids to play in the street? So, you, so uh, are we going to wait on the? Uh, that one well, no. Let's just go ahead and answer that, and then I'll queue up another one. Um, when did when did Somerville have uh, rent control? Hey, okay, go ahead. all right. Let's see what we got here. Hello. Hi. Hey. Hi. Who is this? Can I? I'm Seamus. Hey, Seamus. Oh, nice. Thanks for calling in. I'm JT. Hi. So, do you have a, a trivia answer for us? Ah. They right. don't, we don't, do you think that we should allow kids to play in the street? No, I'm saying they probably don't allow kids to play in the street. That's, that's a fair guess, man. That's a fair guess. Uh, Alderman Hirsch, what is the answer there? Are kids allowed to play in the street? No. Whoa, what, and, is, what is the penalty? And President Ballantyne wanted to know, what do you think? Should we change that rule or, what, or not? Keep it that way or change it? <laughs> really? Okay. I, I don't know. I'm a fan of street hockey, Seamus. All right. How old are you, Seamus? I'm 12. All right. 12 years old, watching Somerville Media Center, SCAT yeah. TV. That's great. Are you watching uh, online or on your TV? <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. All right. <laughs> Can I just... Um, JT, can I just go back to the first question Question about um, Monopoly Streets? Amy McDonald Marinville wrote Broadway, and actually said no, actually it's Boardwalk. And um, Ilana Krepchen suggested Vermont Ave, John Leonard said Pennsylvania, and Judy Walter said St. James. And there are eight streets. Most of them are in the state's Ave's, fittingly, um, section of Somerville. So that's mm -hmm. the answer to that question. Um, we don't have any answer to who's Davis Square named for. Uh, Lance Davis. <coughs> well, <laughs> Mr. Lynch keeps uh, shouting out Lance Davis. <laughs> Actually, close, though. Uh, Person Davis, as it turns out. His name was Person Davis. Makes sense that his name would be Davis. Yeah, well, <laughs> but Person, I think, is a, is a great person. He was actually a member of the last Board of Selectmen of Somerville and the first Board of Aldermen in Somerville. Oh. Yeah. Now, I, my, my sweet spot on this stuff is, like, yeah. Revolutionary War up to uh, up to about turn of the century. That's that's where my son would go. Sweet spot knowledge. Mm -hmm. I mean, where's your Where's your Somerville knowledge really centered? What What period of time? Um, like the eighties and nineties. <laughs> 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 uh, where I grew up, you know, uh, I could I actually I, have, I could ask a couple of trivia questions. Why don't you throw fairly out one easy? One. All right, so if they're about Joe probably times, will know this. No, it. it's like all right. So, what was the name of the donut factory on um, Morrison Avenue? Right behind Lexington Park. Well, I mean, Sefa, you're 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 quickly writing this down, but do you have any idea about this? I I remember it smelling very good um, when I was at Lexington Park, so it must have closed around two thousand two thousand six. Around there, yeah. But let's. Like why don't we just? Can we just p p hold that? I posted it on Facebook. Sure. And so let's come back to that and see if we can have somebody okay. in any uh, um, longer so term. <coughs> oh, so can I? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh no, I. Go ahead, so Pat. the question, next question, this comes from Senator Pat Jalen, and she sent in, when did Somerville have rent control? Mm -hmm. This was before my time. Uh, um, so let's, let's let that one percolate. Um, so this is a special question that comes in from one of the, so if you don't already know that what we're raising money for is scholarships for the, where am I looking at you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. no, call, you can call in line at 617-628-9876. You can answer questions and you can donate. And of course you can donate online too in this day and age. But the, we're raising money right now for scholarships for SCAT TV. And I'm wearing my Argenziano Lincoln Park Lions shirt because I've known so many kids who attend the Argenziano school who walk over here after school and they just have such an amazing experience in the programs. And 
the uh, SCAT TV, Summerlin Media Center, both, it, it, it invites everybody in. It's for everybody, and it, it, it um, both, it, it creates community. Uh, it's just an amazing place. Um, so one of the Argenziano students who also comes to SCAT TV named Frederick Ryan, um, she, he said, um, you get to do the things kids don't usually get to try, and you learn all about the behind-the-scenes people, like camera people, and how important they are. And Heather is awesome. Yeah. And her mother made similar comments. Um, so her question was, who designed the city's current logo? Okay. That's a good okay, one. we can let that percolate too. This is one Joe Lynch doesn't actually have the answer to. All right. Well, um, so I, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask one that I that I know you know the answer. Okay. Because um, I mean, one of the great things about uh, Somerville is is the history, the historical monuments around. I, I'll read a plaque for days. I mean, I, I will stop at any plaque around. And one of my favorite plaques is right here in Union Square. Uh, it's just a simple marker that says, I am too old to run. Uh, <laughs> love that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, okay. Mr. Lynch claims that he's too old to run. Uh, I don't think you're ever too old to run. I think you can get out and exercise. But uh, too old to run. You, you know the, the marker I'm talking yes, about. Yes, I do. Uh, do you know the story behind that marker? Uh, I've read the plaque. I thought it was, yeah, I thought it was about people who, who felt like they, maybe they should move away from Somerville, but they, they just didn't move really <laughs> uh, No, I, I, I don't think it was commentary no. on the, the, the rent at the time. Okay. Actually, no, it was uh, James Miller. Uh, it was the day after Paul Revere's ride okay. through Somerville oh. uh, as they were beating the British back from Lexington and Concord. Oh, man. Somebody's, Somebody's calling in, calling into the show. I'm going to... Tell them to call back later. No, the, uh, it was as they were uh, beating the British back from Lexington and Concord. Uh, they were firing down upon the British from Prospect Hill as they went down what is now Washington Street. And uh, a group of British flankers came and, and hit their position. Everybody else took off and told Mr. Miller to run. He's like, I'm too old to run. He stood his ground. He was the only man from Somerville to die that day. So, uh, so yeah, uh, these, these are the kind of things I, I love in terms of historical <laughs> Thank you very much, JT. I'm, right now we're going to call Alderman White, who is basically, I would say, the, one of the board's historians, knows mm, mm, uh, probably the most uh, about um, our local ordinances and a lot about the history as well. Um, so, um, Jesse, can you try calling his number? Well, <laughs> sure. All right. <laughs> you having fun? So while we do that, I'm going to throw out a question from Andre Green, who's the president of the school committee. Um, and his question is, how many languages are spoken in Somerville High? Kids at L9. Any guesses on that, Alderman Scott? Uh, I'm going to say, I think I heard 27. Is 27. 27 is your vote. That is, that is my, I'm going to put the over under at 27. How's that? Jesse, you have a guess on that? I'm going to fall. <laughs> Alderman White. Yes, sir. How are you? Good. Doing great. You got uh, Alderman Klingen, Alderman Scott, and Alderman Hirsch here at Somerville Media Center uh, for their telethon where people can call in live at 617-628-9876 and donate online. Excellent. I hope people are reaching into the pockets today. Mm -hmm. I certainly hope so. Although I hear as Alderman, we do enough reaching into people's pockets. This one is for a good cause <laughs> that I think everybody can agree with. Well, you know, there's a saying in Somerville, no man for no person's property is safe from the Board of Alderman and the discussion. That's, that's, uh, I've, I've heard that one before. I might have used that chestnut before I got elected. Um, All right. Alderman Hirsch, what do you have uh, for Alderman White today? No, he's asking us a question. Oh, well, I better brace for impact. Alderman White, what do you got? No, no, no. Good. That's good. Are we going to keep you on the line to, uh, to judge us on this? Our, so. All right. Well, uh, I'm, I'm ready to be judged, and I think we have Joe Lynch ready to keep count on us. Uh, Spring no, Hill. Joe Lynch would know the answer to this. I bet money on it. Uh, well, I don't think we're allowed to wager here, although I did just set an over-under. Uh, Jesse, do you want to start off with a few hills? Uh, sure. <coughs> uh, Spring Hill. Okay. Uh, uh, Winter Hill. Okay. Um... 
Come on, can you help me out here. Oh, okay, I, we, got, I, we got two I, from you. I'll take I'll take two more. I'll take Prospect Hill and Cobble Hill. Okay, those are the easy ones. Central yeah. Central Hill. Yeah. Okay. And uh, uh, ten, ten Hills. Seven no. Seven no. Hills. No, I knew it was no. Uh, I got an old chestnut for you that might might not be in your tally. Strawberry Hill. Well, <laughs> what does it start with? Strawberry Hill, Hill was one of the t original ten hills of Somerville back in uh, the 1700s. Oh, he's looking That's for the seven said. modern hills. That's not what I've been told. Oh, okay. okay. How many times do we have to l learn these and then relearn them? Because I've had this question before and I've named all seven Did and apparently I've forgotten. Can you give us a clue, things. Bill? Yes. Yeah. All right. So we Unless it's Clarendon Hill. Clarendon Hill? Oh. Yeah. All right. We got Clarendon Hill. So we got Clarendon oh, Spring. Left, Cobble. The one that always comes. Yes. Yeah. All right. One hill left. And everyone always is comfortable with this one. Oh, my goodness. Well, I think uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna. Yeah. Pass. Did we're you say chestnut? On. Hold on, hold on. No, chestnut hill is. Well, no, 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 but no, you just made me. You just made me. I, I just re remembered. It's uh, Walnut Hill. No, no. Okay, tell us the well, answer because we got. got? It's Cloud Hill on Mount Bennett. Oh, Cloud Hill. Hill. Hill on Mount Bennett. No, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> Dispute. Never right. heard of it. Well, hey, Thank you. Alderman White. Well, like. <laughs> yeah, if it's outside of Ward 2, I really don't know what you're talking about, sir. Okay, right. we just got. Thank you so much, Bill. All right, thank you. Okay. Bye. Okay, I'm going to go through a few more questions here, and then. Um, because we're on, we only have two minutes left. But here, don't forget, please donate online. This is for. So, one minute left? One minute left. All right. Um, I'll just share that Jean Brune had a great question, uh, former mayor of Somerville. When Somerville first began to develop Assembly Square in 1981, what was the name of the now movie theater that was built, and what major Boston premier, premier movie played on all three screens? And apparently they had animals uh, walking around the grounds of this movie theater to, in honor of this show. Mm. In, in what year? 1981. This is your wheelhouse. <laughs> you didn't say that. <laughs> I was four years old. Uh, I'll leave that one to the audience. Um, well, I'm sure there's uh, on Stephanie Hirsch's Facebook page, and also you can chime in on Somerville Media Center on the Facebook page. And once again, please do uh, go online, make a donation, really support local television here. It's an incredible resource in the middle of uh, Union Square. And I'm so grateful both for the opportunities it gives people in the current day and also for the historical record. If you haven't seen it, you should see the Alderman debates from back in the 90s. Oh, They're yeah. Great. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to just tell you the answers some, to some questions. Rent control was between 71 and 79. Mary Jo Rossetti submitted the student population in 1969. It was huge. Uh, <laughs> 13,000 people. <laughs> Thank you so much. Please Thank donate. you, everybody. Thank you so much.